Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles Savansu, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And today we got a pretty interesting show for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, <clears throat> Excuse me, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Charles Tabanzi. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z. If, if you want to follow the channel, Instagram, same as the channel, Dreamers Pro. And also, if you want today's full show before it comes out on YouTube, it's on the Dreamers Pro podcast that we have pinned in the comment section below. So as you guys know, <clears throat> there's been some conversation around the Lakers deciding to hang their new in-season tournament banner title, whatever, whatever the hell you want to call it. And yesterday, was it different? No, yesterday, no, day for yesterday, uh, the Lakers decided to hold a ceremony at crypto.com or crypto arena, whatever. Uh, and <clears throat> they had a ceremony where they hoisted the, 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 you know, that whatever you want to call it in the rafters, right? And during the ceremony, you could actually see that even the Laker fans uh, that were in attendance had no real reaction to it. It was very, very quiet, which was telling. Because one would think that Laker fans would be very, very excited to see this. But it seems like uh, diehard Laker fans and purists saw straight through uh, that spectacle. And they were like, this is a bunch of nonsense. As a matter of fact, uh, a day or so ago, we put up we put up a poll on our channel. We asked a question. We said, Laker fans, are you seriously proud? <clears throat> Excuse me, just dealing with the cold. Seriously proud of the Lakers raising that banner for Laker fans only. Out of the 7,500 voters, 79% said no. And 21% said uh, yes. Yeah. So it seems like people in general aren't receptive uh, to this particular war. So what happened uh, today I was going through the internet and I came across a show from, you know, hip hop legends, uh, Cameron and Mace, the people I grew up listening to as a kid, especially Mace. Um, and they had the title to their show, which which had the headline, Oh, that boy John Moran is back. And Kobe would have never let them hang the in-season banner. Episode 73. And I was like, hold up. I got to click on this. I got to click on this and see what they were saying. So I clicked on it. Uh, and it was a pretty long show. It was about an hour show. But I got to the part where Cameron and Mace were talking about it. And when Cameron started to talk about it, he kept it so real and so like lighthearted, but brutally honest. And I was like, for even Cam and Mace to be talking about it, you know that something is off. So that's the order we want to get into. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Aura. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who's the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened in addition Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at aura.com slash dreamers pro. And when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below also know that you're supporting this channel thank you so for those of you for those of you who didn't hear what cameron and mace had to say uh want to quickly play what they had to say about that listen to the part when cam goes when you know they when they hung up the raptors what kobe would have did and they were going to come back and continue on the show take a listen to what cam and mace uh had to say here take a listen to that Niggas hung that band up in in the crypto arena wherever old staple center niggas got cooked by the knicks Kobe would have burnt that before it got up there, yo. And they just like yeah. banners up and, and then get cooked by the Knicks. That ain't it. You know what I'm saying? That's not it. They should have just took a couple of dollars, the 500, and got back to the regular season. Not saying it isn't something to celebrate. Um, this is the first year for it, et cetera, et cetera. But it's like, oh, this is what I wouldn't they, have hung that button up. I would have put it on, on the scoreboard. 
Yeah, I mean, that's a good one. Yeah, not not in the Raptors. <laughs> Maybe by, across the scoreboard is good. Not in the air. Not in the sky. I like not that. Not in the air. I like that. You it's keep disrespectful. Some, yeah, so when you come there, because you got you got Jerry yeah, so West up there. You want to go ahead and throw his powder up and yeah. get a guy to powder on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I think the yeah. banner should be on the score save. I don't know if that goes against league policy or anything else, but it shouldn't go up there with everything else. Um, you hang the banner up, like I was saying, and then you lose to the Knicks. Put it in a skybox. That's as far as, far as you could take. Possibly, but not only that. What happened is the rest of the league started taking notice. Not saying they wasn't taking notice before, but what happened is the NBA turned this in-season tournament thing to a big f***ing deal, and we was all excited to see it to the point where we was like, yo, the pace, even though before this in tournament, we were looking at Halliburton and everything else, like, oh, Rick Carlisle is over there coaching, and they all came from situations where it was f***ed up, and Buddy Hill. And, underdog. And, yeah, yeah, Buddy Hill, and, you know, they did that. Look, y'all niggas being watched, and didn't like it. Giannis didn't like it, 64, and you poking Halliburton in the chest, and you and your pops all on TNT the other night. Niggas didn't like it. Yeah, the and, word got out that the was soft. Yeah, Pause. That's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Once, once, um, Giannis ran back in their locker room and took the ball, <laughs> and no big man, no big man, and nobody said anything. The word got around the league. Oh, the is soft. So you heard what Cameron and Mace had to say. Now, I know there are going to be some people that say, oh, man, why are you talking about this so much? I thought that this meant something. I thought that this meant something. I thought some of you guys wanted us to give this thing some type of significance. Well, here I am talking about it. Or do you mean that, wait a minute, if you're going to talk about it, you can only say nice things about uh, nice things about this award. If you're not going to say any nice things about it, I don't want you talking about it. Then I can tell you to go ahead and kick rocks, right? Because YouTube is a big place. I don't want to force you to watch. Uh, and but yet here you are. So there must be something that keeps keeps you coming back to the content every single day. Only you can <laughs> only you can answer that. Listen, I think Cam and them said exactly what most normal people would have said. I was just trying to picture Kobe's face, like yo, I, you know, I'm trying to picture the call. Like how did the how would the call have gone if the Lakers were thinking of doing something like this and they called Kobe, like hey Kobe, can you pop in? Like okay, I was like yo, can we get Kobe in the phone? Like I'm gonna call him. The phone rang. Hello. He's like hello. Yeah, like, hey, how you guys doing? Hey, shout out to Jeannie and all. How, how do you do? Hey, hey, Kobe, man, we just saw, I'm sure you saw us win the in-season tournament. Oh, no, I was busy, man. I was working on my stories. Ah, oh, okay, well, if you didn't know, uh, it turns out that we actually won the in-season tournament banner. What's that again? You know, it's a championship. It's like an award we made up, you know. Well, it doesn't really matter why we made it up, but we made up this award anyway. And anyway, we won it. We won it. So we're thinking of putting up like a banner of it in the stadium and we're wondering if you could t attend hello kobe kobe i'm just picturing kobe's face what was it on jimmy kimmel live when <laughs> when they interview no when they played the video of um, Nick Young and these dudes celebrating at the end of the game, and they, I think they had like they were like they had like they were like ten games below five hundred, and they the camera pan back to Kobe's face and this look on his face like I I I believe that's the expression uh, Kobe would have had on his face. So the question is, why would have Kobe felt that way? Why would Kobe have felt uh, felt that way? Well, it's simple. Uh, Kobe wasn't into gimmicks, man. Kobe wanted to win titles. It's one of the reasons he sacrificed his game. Uh, for Shaq. Now, here's a funny bit of information for you guys. Do you guys know that there was a certain point in the NBA when, I believe it was in the 2003 season or so, uh, and Kobe had scored 40 points for nine straight games. And I think that started when Shaq, I think, got injured or something. And Shaq came back, Kobe was still on the tear. And he said this on the Alec, Rod Alex Rodriguez um, podcast, and he and he was like, Phil Jackson came over to him, it's like, Kobe, you need to... We're gonna need you to dial it back because we're beginning to lose, big fella. So we're gonna need you to dial it back a little bit and try to incorporate Shaq into the offense. And Kobe was like, "Okay, I got you." Does that sound like somebody that that, that, that gets carried? Can somebody that gets carried score ninety points? I mean, uh, forty points for nine straight games? Are we talking about the same dude that could score eighty-one in the game? Are we talking about the same dude that could score fifty in four straight games? Are we talking about that dude? Are we talking about the dude that can average thirty-five and a half points per game? 35.1 points per game in the slowest era 
in the history of basketball with the least amount of possessions when the average score is about 97 points per game. Do you know what it is for a player to have 81 points in an era where its teams were scoring about, what was it, 97 or 102 points per game or something like that? Do you know what Do you know what type of player you got to be to do that? This the Kobe we talking about that got carried by Shaq? Huh. So after Shaq left, how many more rings did Kobe get? Huh. How many more rings did Shaq get? Huh. Are we talking about the same dude? Man, y'all better stop playing with me. Y'all better stop playing with me. So back to what Cam and May said. Listen, I think they summarized it perfectly. Um, I don't see any serious Laker fans disagreeing with them. So I don't know what constituency would find what Cam and Mace had to say offensive. Who would this constituency be? Because if it's the Laker fans, I think Lakers would concur. I think most loyal Laker fans would also agree with the fact that Kobe would have, Kobe would have said, I'm not with this nonsense. Right? And they would have agreed with him because he's a, he's a person that was tenured, played 20 years with the organization, helped them win five championships. So most Laker fans would agree with him. So who would disagree with Kobe in this particular matter? And for the people that are going to feel a type of way, like, oh, man, why are you always talking about this? Hey, listen. Some people wanted to give this thing some seriousness, some, some credibility. Here I am talking about it. Or would you like me to move on? So to me, listen, uh, I think Cam and Mace were 100% on the money. Uh, it was a joke. Uh, it was embarrassing. And I think that by putting it next to those championship banners, it devalues what a championship is. How in the how in good Lord's name could a tournament cup that takes you seven games to win where you're not even playing against the best teams and then just think just just think about the rationale that goes into winning an NBA cup. You're playing against a random set of teams or whatever, and you're not selecting them by record, which means that you could be playing any old team within that thing. Now, we've looked at the we've looked at the records of both the Lakers and in Indiana, Indiana Pacers, and they've been below 500, right? Around a 25, 30% winning percentage. And some people are saying, well, it's because all of the effort that they exerted into going into the playing tournament. So you're telling me that the Lakers and these guys exerted more effort into the playing tournament than they would have exerted into the actual playoffs? Or did we just watch a, 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 an absolute sham of a competition? Because I don't believe that's the most competitive basketball we're going to see uh, this season. I believe we're going to get our most competitive brand of basketball when the regular season commences. I mean, when the playoff commences. So it then begs the question, what did we just watch? What did we just watch? And then it had the nerve of all organizations, the Lakers, who set the standard? Who set the standard? I mean, the Lakers, Celtics, and of course you have the, what is it, the Chicago Bulls. Uh, you have the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, you have the what is it? The um, Golden State Warriors, and then you have everybody else kind of playing catch up. But those are the you know those are the big boys in the NBA in terms of teams uh, that have the most championships. Um, you know, historic uh, you know um, dynasties or whatever you want to call it. And then it's everybody else. But the Lakers and the Celtics sit at the top. So how could the Lakers now all of a sudden put this significance? In an NBA Cup that half the people didn't even care about. And then the only reason that the players cared about it because it was a financial incentive. And the minute the financial incentive went away, they stopped caring. Because one then needs to ask, okay, so what happened to all of this great basketball, quote-unquote, we were seeing? Why don't we see it anymore? These are all pertinent questions. What happened? Somebody said, oh, well, they were burnt out. Really? Did they go through like a seven-game series to get there? Or was it a game that they were playing on a Saturday night, then another game? Like, what, what, what are we talking about? It's not like it's who they're playing in the playoffs. So to me, listen, uh, I agree with Cam and Mace. They are absolutely right to laugh at it. And Kobe Bryant went up there and burnt that. You know what? So <laughs> these are my thoughts. Shout out to Cam and Mace. Uh, Y'all kept it real in that segment, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you guys on the next show. Some of you will be here for sure.